activate. This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives us the boldness to live and speak and stand. It takes boldness to live out your faith. If you think that being a Christian is just a simple choice, that, okay, I'm going to choose to be a Christian because uh, it's, it's, they're, they're good people and they're nice people and most of them shower and you know, they're, they're just good to be around and they have great potlucks, which I hear some of you are mumbling about it's time for another potluck. So, you know, I feel those who mumble that want a potluck, it's your job to put it together. Amen? Uh, that's the only thing I can get an amen around in, in, about here, you know. Uh, it takes boldness to stand. It takes boldness to live out your faith on a day-by-day basis, and you don't have that boldness in you. Oh, you could muster up some sort of feeling like, oh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm empowered now, and f- some sense of motivation, but you'll fail. On your own, you'll fail. The only power that you have that will get you through those times is the power of Holy Spirit. That's the only power that will get you there. It takes boldness to live out your faith. And the early disciples knew that, and they prayed for it after Jesus returned to heaven. Look at this prayer from the, uh, from the, uh, from the, uh, from, from the disciples in Acts chapter 4. Now, Lord, consider their threats. They were being threatened. They were being challenged. Consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Now, let me explain something here. This is really important to understand. Because the filling of the Holy Spirit is a lifestyle. You have the Holy Spirit given to you. When you got saved, the Holy Spirit was given to you. It's it's what keeps you saved. He is the one that keeps you saved. But the filling of the Holy Spirit is the empowerment that comes from letting Holy Spirit be who He is in and through your life. And there has to come a time in your life on a regular basis where your lifestyle is one where you just say, God, I'm yielding to your power and your presence in my life. And I want you to notice something. See in this passage, they asked for it. Part of the reason so many Christians are so powerless in their life is because they don't even ask for the Holy Spirit to live in them. They're saying, oh, I'm supposed to be powerful now, God in me. Well, have you asked him? Have you asked Holy Spirit? I mean, we're talking disciples here. These are the guys that had been following Jesus. They'd seen him. They'd walked and talked with him. They spent time with him after he was resurrected from the dead. They knew that he was the Messiah. They had spent time with him, and they asked for the Holy Spirit. Why wouldn't you? On behalf of Dan Hurst and Holy 